100 days to do everything in Disney World and with about a thousand tasks on the list, we better get started. Luckily for me, I get to bring in some help from my friends, old Starkey here. We're super excited. You, whoa, he's coming old? Ol, O-L-E. O-L. Like my old friend, my good old friend. As in classic, baby. As in like best friends, <laughs> old Starkey, O-L-E. Oh. Old <laughs> Starkey. We're super excited. This is episode number five, and we've got stuff to do today, and we're here in Epcot, so we better, we better get started. All right, so we've been doing this for a few days now, and here you can see our current standings. Here they are. Right here above us. They're gorgeous. There's, we've, we've got a, wow. a while to go. Look at all the things we've done, though. <laughs> That's true. We're not doing too bad, but we're gonna have to pick up the pace a little bit, yeah. but don't worry. It's not like the last 10 episodes. We're gonna have like, Hundred tasks or anything? No, it's of course not. Fine. That would be crazy. That'd be crazy. Luckily, we have our computer intelligence friend Agnes, who she lets us know what we're doing. Love that girl. And she's gonna tell us right here, Agnes. What are we doing today? Two allowed items were completed between challenge days: Coral Reef Restaurant and Three Bridges Bar and Grill. Your random items for today are. Mission Space, Smiling Crocodile, Triceratop Spin. It's tough to be a bug. Encanto Celebration, Viva Gaia. Have a magical day. Okay, so those look like some pretty fun tasks today. I'm yes. super excited. And just in case you don't remember, we are doing all of this so I get to bring my friends with me to Paris. Yeah, very and I'm not one of those. We're very excited though. <laughs> <laughs> now for our first stop, we're not going to the All Ears Family Fairy Table, that's this. We're not going here actually. Why not? Well, we have something else we need to do. But it's seating. Well, we can stay, we'll stay while we wait for the show. But what we're really here to do is we're checking out the brand new Communicore. You can, you can sit, I'll come back, I'll come back. We're gonna check out the brand new Communicore Plaza and Communicore Hall. We're really gonna stand outside in Communicore Plaza today because we are watching the brand new show, Celebration Encanto. Sage, what are your thoughts on the new show? Uh, first off, hashtag live entertainment is important. Exactly, that's why I wanted to give you the opportunity to speak on this. Thank you. It's basically uh, the Frozen sing-along, except outside. That's my only one negative thing I would say about it. It's outside and it can get pretty, pretty hot. They actually ask you to stay on the grass areas until a certain part of the show, then, then you can come forward. Uh, and it can get very hot. You're standing in the sun for approximately, I want to say, 15, 15 minutes until they ask you to move forward. Uh, but it is just a, it's a sing along, and they do they do do some canto trivia in between the songs, and there's a lot of kid interaction. I got a chance to sit down with uh, Juan Cantu, who is the show director, and he said that there uh, that this was designed specifically for little ones. They wanted something at Epcot for little ones. Because we are going to sing. Cantaremos. Oh, we're going to dance. Bailaremos. It's going to be fantastic. Mirabel has two hermanas. Who knows what hermana means? Sister. Sister. We had to pick it up on September list. 6th, as, now. as of now, is its closing date. Oh my gosh, I have to do the new walls. What? At the time of filming, Test oh, Track is. Track. It literally closed yesterday. It closed yesterday because of uh, they're doing a complete overhaul. Our next item on the list from Agnes is a ride because we need to start. We need to start getting those under our belt. I'd say. I, I, I think so. So we're gonna head over to Mission Space, which is like a flight simulator ride. Uh, there's two versions, orange and green. Orange is much more intense. Green is a lot more chill. Um, luckily, she did not specify which one we have to do to check this no, out the list. No, she did not. So I'm going green. I am also going green. What if I went orange? I was gonna say, <laughs> why would we not go together? 
Well, luckily for us, green is five minutes, whereas orange is 75 minutes. Yeah. And you're gonna find that a lot. Absolutely. Community Core Hall and Community Core Plaza. So, what do you think of it? I am thinking I like it um, uh, for long-term purposes. Yeah, How I think it's a multifunctional space and that's what it's serving. It's giving event space. It's giving event space, which is what they, they told us it would be. No, no, we don't know why. Uh, <laughs> no, we don't know why it took so long to build. Yeah, it, that's a bit of a mystery in and of itself. But I think there will be lots of weddings here. Yeah, I think it's going to be really cute to see what happens when an actual festival is going on. Mm. Right now, the big walls aren't open. Yeah. We can't see the kitchen and the bars and the building. Yeah, and I want to see what happens then. And I know there's been a lot of critique, which is fair. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know how to continue this bit. I think we, we buried ourselves. We buried ourselves in this bit. bit. <laughs> I really want to hang on. Now you've already been organized into teams, and soon each of you will be assigned a position. I'll give you your specific assignments. But first, our flight director has some safety instructions for you. Navigator, welcome aboard. During the mission, you will be adjusting the pitch of the X2 if necessary. <laughs> There we go. Yeah. <laughs> wait, yeah. wait, this is my favorite button. Press it, press one up there. Wait. Yeah, red light. This is not real. <laughs> it's not a real button. <laughs> That's us right now. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. Sage thought one of my bracelets said angle. <laughs> but it said anxiety. It turns out I can't weed. <laughs> <laughs> this is mission control. We've been stuck We're still in waiting here. for clearance to launch. Mission log, day 40. <laughs> We've been in here. We're out of food. No water. <laughs> no water. We've been forced to eat these paper bags. <laughs> Next up, my bracelets. <laughs> they're not even made of candy. But they're high in fiber. <laughs> Do if you're all candy bracelets. <laughs> are we bringing back candy bracelets? <laughs> it's my legacy. Hey, everybody, like and subscribe for candy bracelets. <laughs> Good luck, team. Navigator, initiate thrusters to adjust pitch. We made it. Now at the end of the day, candied bracelets were the real hero of the mission. We survived on my bracelets alone. Rest in peace, CB. <laughs> well, I'm missing the restroom. And the restroom does not count for this 1,000 task list. So... <laughs> you dropped your phone underneath someone's feet in the other stall. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, monorail shot. Alright, well, check that off the list, I guess. Public humiliation. <laughs> We're actually going to Animal Kingdom next. Yeah. According to Agnes. According so. to Agnes, we're going to Animal Kingdom. Why did I do that? My manicure? I don't know what's going on, and neither do you guys. So I'll meet you at Animal Kingdom. That's what a fish looks like. Animal Kingdom. Yeah. <laughs> Headed out of the park. Headed out of the park. My, uh, my question to you: Can we ask Agnes if leaving the park counts? Um, Starting to get nervous about our about our our stats. Our yeah, stats. I'm not nervous. <laughs> Never have been, never will be. I actually don't even know the meaning of the word nervous. So All right. All right. I don't know if it counts, if park hopping counts. Well, cool. Let us know. Cool transition. Uh, cool transition. Uh, transition! Uh, hey. How did we get here? Animal Kingdom. We must have traveled by car, I'd say. <laughs> A daring journey we were on. It is so chill. We have made it over to Animal Kingdom, which I, we film a lot, but we've not been here yet for this series, have we? No, I don't believe so. I don't we've, think we've, we've so. We've been to Disney Springs. We've done Disney Springs. Know, have we been to Hollywood Studios yet, either? Sage, I gotta be honest, I don't know. I don't know, we're just... The days are running together 
our Agnes, friends. Agnes, are you even keeping track of our location? Agnes, can you please just tell us where we're going next? And luckily, she has. We're going to head over and we're going to grab some lunch now at a place that, have you ever been here? Uh, I have. I've been here once in recent memory. Yeah, once. But it's been a long time before that. Um, and it's not open all that often, so I'm actually really excited to check it out. All right, this is the Smiling Crocodile. So this is like a walk-up stand. It is only open for a few hours every single day. That's why I say it's not open all that often. Smiling Crocodile, <laughs> spotted one. That means I get my meal for free. <laughs> not true, unfortunately. This is only open from, I believe, 11 or 11.30 until three. So I'm actually really excited to try this out because those barbacoa nachos are calling my name. So funny, I was thinking about the chicken street tacos. The chicken street tacos look so good. So what if we, do you want to share? We do like a, sh a friend share situation? Friend share situation? Yeah, all right, fine. Okay. We've got our food and I'm going to show you one of my favorite hacks if you're eating at one of these walk-up stands because there's two over here. The other one is Eight Spoons Cafe. This is technically seating for Flame Tree Barbecue, but you don't have to eat at Flame Tree if you want to go uh, sit down back here. There's tons of seating. A lot of it is shaded. We love spending time back here and this you can just take this little walkway. This is actually one of my favorite places uh, to, uh, like, just to just chill out and relax here totally at Animal agree. Kingdom. That's one of the best views, I think, in almost all of Animal Kingdom. I was going to say, Kingdom. casually stunning, yeah. stunning views. Yeah. Again, lots of shade. Uh, we really love coming back here, and I highly recommend it. So look, look at all these tables. And we're not going to have to stand. This good with you? Yep. All right, for my meal today, I've got the barbacoa nachos. I've never had these, so I'm really excited. It's barbacoa beef on tricolored tortilla chips with queso cheese, lime crema, and pico de gallo. And I got the chicken street tacos, which I've also never had, which is roasted chicken tacos tossed in our house-made sauce with lime crema, tortilla cheese, cabbage, and pickled onion served with a side of chips and salsa. Let's go, baby. Cheers. That's quite good. It looks good. Mine are really good. They're a lot more acidic than I thought. That lime crema is really strong, but in a nice way. It's potent. It's really, um, potent I think is the best word for it. Yeah. But I love a lime crema. Acidic, bright, and then it's topped with pickled onions, which kind of adds to that acidity. But the saltiness of the chips and the barbacoa really cut through that. So this chicken that they have on their tacos, it's, they, they say it's tossed in their house-made sauce. They never say what the house-made sauce is. I'll say it's got kind of a kick to it. Really? Yeah. Uh, and not like a crazy spicy kick, but just like a nice, uh, juicy kick. Um, I'll say it's very peppery, but it's, overall it's really good. There's a nice balance of um, kind of savoriness with this uh, cheese and the chicken, and as well as the uh, the, the tortilla cheese are my favorite things. I like. I bought it at the grocery store the other day just to start putting it on. So I have it at my house. Oh my god, I love the tortilla cheese. My least favorite place to eat now is at Magic Kingdom. It is by far my least favorite place to eat. Not because people who are here and excited about. Not because they have bad offerings, just because. Magic Kingdom is known for really heavy or really sweet. Yes, yeah, yeah. The two options. It's very theme park central. I think we're having a moment where we realize <laughs> we have been here for this series. I'm like, like the very first episode, maybe. I think the first episode we did Expedition Everest, and that was it. It was it, and then we went golfing. <gasps> and we went golfing. We have we went been pot, here. Pot. We've been here. Maybe we just haven't been to Hollywood Studios yet. I don't know. We should stop saying the things. <laughs> we should stop saying. One thing that I think is really funny that Sage and I both are coming to terms with right now is we do so much in Disney World that it all is like running together. And like, I can't remember things we've done or like why we've done things. Question, mm -hmm. who are you again? I don't know, <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> I keep hearing this name, Minnie. I think maybe that's me. The summer heat is hitting us hard and it's literally only mid-June. Hey, I'm Tony. Tony? Town Square? <laughs> that's a more. <laughs> we have to go. <laughs> so we are headed to uh, Dinoland USA for our next Agnes task. 
We're headed to Dinoland USA to uh, ride another attraction. Uh, definitely not a must-do attraction, but something that we kind of enjoy. We do a lot. Actually. We do it a lot because it's uh, just an easy ride. It's always a low weight uh, for the most part, unless it's a crazy busy day. You know, I once waited 20 minutes for this attraction. Really? 20 minutes. Crazy. Yeah. Oh, Kevin knows we're here. He's coming towards us. I love her. Oh, she's coming towards us. Sorry. Yeah, Kevin's you. a mom. Kevin's a girl. Hi, Kevin. Hi. Hi. Dineland USA will have a complete overhaul. We do not have any actual dates as to when that overhaul will start, but it has been confirmed that things are going away. For example, uh, Chester and Hester's Dino-Rama, it's going away. Uh, dinosaur, it's going away. Boo. <laughs> uh, to make way for a trop Tropical Americas, which uh, has been rumored to be things like Encanto and potentially Indiana, Indiana Jones. Jones. Which I will be very excited about. Absolutely. Uh, I'm excited for the Indiana Jones, the musical they announced, too. Watch out for that rock. <laughs> I was gonna say. It's a rock show. It's a rock musical. <laughs> okay. Like all the music is rock, like, da -da -da -da. watch out for the rock. I hate snakes. Anyway, we're going to Triceratops Spin. Let's go. Triceratops Spin is a Dumbo style attraction, a spinning attraction. Uh, it's pretty family friendly, but you hop into a Triceratops and you, well, you spin around. The question is, why are the dinosaurs flying? Are they magical? I love the theory about, you see all the comets, uh, the comets are around the attraction as well, that the comet has just struck and the dinosaurs have been flown into the air because of the impact, which I think is morbid and hilarious. The reason I like this attraction is because of the music. I love the music. They play the Tina Girl. And, and also Earth, Wind, and Fire. I said the most important one. Alone in the front of the dinosaur I'm no. because I literally said to Sage, if you're my friend, you'll sit in the front. Can I sit you back? Yes, awesome. I I was trying to be kind and give you some, uh, give you your space because we can it's like, we can kind of be a little squishy in there. Yeah. I was trying to be kind. Yeah, no, it's okay. Like message completely received. <laughs> no. I did not know this was gonna happen today. <laughs> I'm and now you have full control over I'm how high we go. I'm gobsmacked. I'm gobsmacked. I'm just tilting back here with my control. No, 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 it's cool. It's cool. Right, everyone, I'm about to spin up here in the front on my own. No friends in sight. Exactly. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of in the front seat. Look, like if I if I just show our heads, it looks like we're in the front seat together. Yeah. Oh, now that I'm alone for the rest of the video, well, I you think you really you really not gonna let that go. No, oh, pretty much because you just flat tired me. I... All... <laughs> that really got me. Okay, I actually genuinely have a good time on that ride. Again, Sage already said it. It's not really a must do. But if you're looking for a short wait, this is a great one to go to. Super family friendly. Super family friendly. He said it, so it's fine. <laughs> we, our brains are slowly just mush. Mush. And we were eating lunch, and uh, what, neither what, of us could speak. What did you confuse? There was like a bit where Sage has recently lost his sunglasses, and I made a joke that I've been stealing all of his sunglasses. And then I'm the one stealing all of Quincy's water bottles. Like there, and this is not on camera. This is just us doing bits for ourselves. And I tried to say you were klepto. That I'm kle I was a klepto, but I said narcoleptic instead. So that's kind of where we're at today. And then she and didn't even say narcoleptic. I couldn't even say narcoleptic. Said harpoleptic. <laughs> harpoleptic. And just imagine Emma sleeping, playing the harp. <laughs> Literally, we're bringing you along with us as our brains turn into mush. And unfortunately, that's not on the list of tasks. Super excited for the, uh, I think for the last two for the day. Uh, cause that's all, cause six is all we have time for today. Over the last two. You know what I just realized? What? what? She did not give us a punishment today. Wow. 
I know. Thank you. I'll take that. Yeah. I also think the real punishment is just Orlando Heat. That's true. Uh, but don't worry, punishment's coming back for number six. Uh, but for our last two, we get to do a show, because live entertainment is important, and another attraction. We're hitting a lot of attractions, which means we are definitely getting, uh, we're knocking off the list. But it's tough to be a bug, but it's time to wait. Crawly bug -eyed adventure. A creepy crawly bug-eyed adventure. It's Tough to Be a Bug is a 10 to 15 minute 3D show inspired by a bug's life. It's inside the Tree of Life also, which yeah. is very neat. Uh, the Tree of Life is the park icon and it's covered in uh, 325 plus hand carved animals, which is super cool. Uh, oh. one, one of my favorite parts is the, um, uh, the room right before you go in to see the show because as a self-proclaimed theater nerd, I like the... Um, the theater, the, theater, the parody, the theater parody posters that they have on the wall, which was saying it's like. I do love those. I think Auntie. Fun. Yeah, like uh, instead of Annie, it's Auntie. Uh, instead of Beauty and the Beast, it's Beauty and the Bees. It's the Tree of Life Repertory Theater. Did you also notice that the deeper you go into the Tree of Life, like you're not going to find a dinosaur, like on the on the big, like main trunk, like the dinosaurs are only in the roots because that's how long they've been. <gasps> you ever? I never knew that until like recently. Now it is a 3D show, so grab your 3D glasses. Okay. See, there we go, look at that. The Dung and I. It's the most memorable role in The Dung and I. This Dung Ball bounced off the stage and nearly brought, brought the, the house down. down. Hey, what a play in words. Uh, cockroach line. Web side story. Oh. Barefoot in the park in the bark. Stink bug main desire. Stink bug little shop of hoppers. Oh gosh. My fair ladybug. The grass menagerie. Hi mom. Hi, mom. Shout out my mom. Wow, where are you in the front row? Yeah. Yeah, front row. Front row, okay, here we go. I like to support the artist. <laughs> I lost Emma. I don't know where she is. She's here, she's here. Oh, hey girl. Sorry. <laughs> well, what did you think? I like that show and a fry hates that show. The show is changing. We don't know when, but it is changing uh, to a Zootopia 3D show uh, happening inside that theater. Uh, but so if you like it, stuff to be a bug, see it while it lasts. So I'll be excited to see something come in, but I will be sad to see this go. Oh, we got really wet in yeah, there. Uh, both of us were a little shocked. The, those, it was really working today. Those water jets were working overtime today. The it was acid. it was like they were like they were just hired and they were really excited about their job. Yeah. They were, so they were really proving them. To the point where both of us were like, oh. Whoa, hey, really? whoa, whoa. It's not only that bad, but it made us giggle. Alright, you wanna do the last thing? You know what's funny? What? We started our day with a dance party and I think we're gonna end our day with a day with a dance party. This is the dance party video? Yeah. We're putting some music well, we, in. I was going to say they're probably not going to put music in, so we probably should just save it. Last task on our list is to see Viva Gaia. Viva Gaia is a kind of a party band uh, here in Discovery Island. Uh, you're going to hear them do like mashups of contemporary tunes and Disney songs. Uh, but really, it's just contemporary it's songs. It's a moving groove it party, too. Yeah, and there's a whole this kind, of, kind of dance party that happens out here. They start, it says two, it says they start in one minute, but they're not here, which means they're, they'll probably come out here at two o'clock. If I know a band, they like to show up a little bit late. Hey, don't we all? <laughs> That happened so quickly. We didn't. Uh, all right. Well, we got rained out. So maybe we did it though. It still counts. From what we did see of Viva Guy before it started monsooning. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? 
Um, I really like that band. I think they're a good little hype band. I don't typically stand and watch Viva Gaia, but I love when they're playing and I'm walking past. It just feels like a little mini dance party in the middle of the day. I agree. It's definitely that uh, found entertainment, or as Emma says, the drive-by entertainment, uh, just because uh, again, it's not something you have to necessarily plan for. It's something that you can just be surprised by and enjoy for a little bit and then leave or stay for the whole show if you're uh, interested. So they do have some fun mashups. It's really pouring. It's really, it's really raining. Uh, well, we've, we've got other videos to film today, but hopefully tomorrow, tomorrow, not, not tomorrow on, 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 your, on your side, I think, tomorrow for, for us, side of we'll, uh, we'll hopefully get, we'll get more accomplished yeah. tomorrow. Should we get the rain in it? No, that looks terrible. Well, that's how it feels. <laughs> so if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. No, go start at the very beginning of I Have to Do Everything in Disney World. I'll see you there. Bye.